This is Dr. Jonathan Master, who is the Dean of Divinity School at Cairn University. And this past June was elected by the Board of Trustees of Greenville Seminary to become the second president. It's my privilege to welcome him to our family. About three years ago, the board and I began to work on a succession plan, recognizing that as I got into my early 70s, it would really be good to have a younger man to come. And I'm excited just to be able to uh, uh, teach, write, and travel. Greenville Seminary, ever since I've known about the school, has had a, a laser-like focus on training men for pastoral ministry. Uh, that focus is something that I found very attractive. It, it, it fits perfectly with my own interests and experiences and passions. And then, and then uh, in addition to that, the doctrinal unity of the seminary. Uh, the seminary is, is united around certain teachings, the Westminster Standards, and they're committed to the local church. Both of those things are tremendously attractive to me. When people think of Greenville Seminary or meet one of our graduates, I want them to first and foremost uh, see us as an institution that is committed to developing men for Christ-centered, Bible-focused ministry in a local congregation as it, under, under God, under shepherds for, for the church. I want, I want our graduates to be men who pour themselves out in the service of the Lord uh, to, to be with a congregation and to feed that congregation from the Word of God. Today I had the privilege of sitting down with a couple of current Greenville students and I was struck, as I, as I was the, the previous time I was here meeting with students, with their, their godliness, their concern for the church, uh, their, their love for the church, and, and their commitment to pouring their lives out uh, for Christ's sake in, in service to Him and His people. Entering a new position like this is something that makes you acutely aware of your need for the Lord's help. And so I would ask for your prayers that God would give me wisdom and God would show favor to my family as we, as we settle in this new area. Pray that I will truly uh, be humble through this process and be willing to, uh, to step aside. I think that's very important. I would like to take the opportunity to thank uh, the Lord, both for the preparation as providence and the call to bring me here and for the privilege of, of laboring. Well, by the end of it, 22 and a half years as, as the first president of Greenville Seminary, to be able to pick up that legacy of Dr. Smith has been a, a tremendous honor. I thank you all for your prayers and support, uh, letters and notes of encouragement. Uh, we love you and we know you love us. I'm so thankful to the Lord for this opportunity in, in a number of ways, really too many ways to recount. He has been at work through this process. I'm grateful to the board. I'm grateful to students. I've expressed this to Dr. Piper, but I am especially grateful to him for his um, gracious spirit, his encouragement, his example. And I'm grateful to all of you who are supporters of Greenville Seminary, who are graduates of Greenville Seminary, who are doing the work that we're preparing men to do here at the seminary. Said Dr. Masters. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I do know. I think it's a pretty common mistake. Isn't it's it? a very common mistake. <laughs> it's your parents' fault, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't think it goes it. back further than that, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly laid back, Zach. <laughs> isn't this a different direction from the podcast? The podcast, I just press record. <laughs>